For the right reasons, there's the door. Me the Bachelorette premieres Monday, June seventh on ABC. Also, he's obnoxious. Huh? Just like in the movies, remember? And the lady vanishes when she says to him, "You're the most obnoxious man the I ever met." Then they fall madly in love. Also, he never remembers me. Sally Albright. Hi, Harry. I thought it was you. It is. Yeah. This is Marie. What is Marie? How are you? Fine. How's Joe? Fine. I hear he's fine. You're not with Joe anymore? We just broke up. Oh, I'm sorry. That's too bad. Yeah. Well, you know. So, I read in your profile that you don't drink. Why is that? I don't like my mind being altered by substances. <laughs> I know what you mean. I also try to keep a pretty healthy lifestyle. It helps me maintain a vow of celibacy. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Wow, I've just never met anyone who actually does that. <laughs> Why are you celibate? To conserve my energy and to not preoccupy my mind with trying to get laid all the time. Mm. So this whole yoga thing was genuine. You're like a wholesome guy. <laughs> Uma, <laughs> you're gorgeous, but I decided to wait until I'm married. Mm. Are you a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've had sex before. It's just this way I can try to focus on my long-term goals to be successful. Mm. How do you stay celibate? Uh, I watch what I eat, I practice fasting twice a month. There really is a whole science that helps, you know, keep the arousal down. <laughs> wow. Okay. No drinking, no sex. I, I don't get it. <laughs> but that's good to know. Uh, maybe we could chant, what is it called? Uh, oh, Hare Krishna and call it a day? Uh, there's a vegan restaurant up the street if you want to go there and get to know each other better. Look, man, I respect what you're doing, but I enjoy drinking socially with friends and definitely want to have sex with my partner before marriage. They have amazing vegan cupcakes there. I have plans to help a friend move tonight, but thanks. I'm definitely doing more yoga from now on. Find your breath one last time before we open our eyes. And let's close our meditation with Namaskar.
before we get into tonight's discussion, I wanted to share with you a little bit of my story. Three years ago, I had an awakening where I suddenly realized that I was living my life with severe depression and anxiety for a long time. And I either was denying it or I wasn't even aware of it. But I was putting off my healing from past traumas by distracting myself with a job I didn't really like, drinking too much, going out too much, and just kind of mindlessly wandering away from my true feelings and what I needed to be focusing on. I'd like to share with you tonight how meditation and spirituality helped me overcome my anxiety and the bad habits that were making my life miserable. Hey, wait a minute. Oh. Don't I know you? Uh, yeah. Hey, Vale. How have you been? Good. Do you want to join me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Nice ring. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm married now. But look at you. No sandals, no mat, all business. Yeah, sandals don't pay the bills. Man, you look like you have an extra spark in you. Yeah, I, I kept up with yoga and meditation and I'm teaching online now. Oh, nice. Yeah. I love meditation. <laughs> It helps me keep my game sharp when dealing with investors and company CEOs. My business is really taking off. I got a huge buyer for an app I developed. Matter of fact, uh, I got to meet them in 10 minutes. Wow. Crazy. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe you can join the sessions I offer, though the meditation I'm teaching is more spiritual. <laughs> Thanks, but yeah, I'm not going to join oh. your sessions. <laughs> Why? Because I'm too attractive to you. I wouldn't be able to concentrate. Wow, this is a, a whole new you. You're not conserving your energy anymore. Yeah, that whole celibacy thing is off. Hey, do you want to come over later and we can finally have that vegan cupcake? Look, man, I'll just get out of your way. <sighs> Brother, when the time is ripe, I will come to you. Thank you. <laughs> You're coming in tomorrow, right? Yep. I guess I'm oh, there. wonderful. Oh, I will be right back. What was that guy's name? I think I know him. Bill Roberts. Mm. Uma, will you be able to help out with food delivery this Saturday? Yes. Perfect. Uh, if you like, I can add him to your route. Mm. Sure. His place is a little weird to get to. You have to go around the back. Uh, but no worries, I'll map it out for you. Okay. A cave 
A dream that no one could save. A shelter, a whole act, a light that died with the night. You and I, we got our differences. Yet I thought we were more alike than unlike. So rain and chest pain. What's the plan? Heavy breathing, stay insane. Grab my hand. Everything is great inside this narrow maze. Who are you? A merciful one. The time to visit you has come at last. And I am here. You? What are you doing here? I, I brought you some food. What happened to you? Are you trying to take your life? <sighs> Remember yoga in the park? That helped me reevaluate the choices I was making. Why did you lose your way? I was doing meditation and yoga and I was feeling more confident and focused. I was making real money. realize you did your practice to help you in your business. That was my secret weapon. But then my business went under during COVID. I'm so sorry to hear that. I can't meditate for success anymore. And power yoga won't numb the pain. So I found something else that would. Meditation is not meant to build your ego and get you loads of money. When your practice doesn't have a moral base, there can be huge adverse effects. 
real meditation is designed to dissolve your ego and allow you to be one with the Supreme. Only then will you find the infinite happiness you seek, Vale. Let's get you on your feet now, brother. Okay. You'll start again. And I am here for you.